Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel and to another weekly vlog style vlog but this time we're actually going away on a little staycation down to the south of England to stay with Rob's father and stepmother just for a few days and we're going to have a couple of adventures and days out down and his family and Paisley Park we're all heading down to Romsey Hello, the little I one. I shouted to mummy in the last like, time mummy spoke that to own Bob's dad. Yeah, that's right. So Paisley is snug as a bug in the back there. She's got a window shield. You will see I have my iPad. I know the things we need. A pack up, the a blankie. A boot is full. Yeah. The car's full. It is. <laughs> Yeah, we thought we'd take you along. We are going to Monkey World while we're down here. We're going to a cat cafe. We're going out to sea, hopefully on a boat if the weather behaves itself. And we should have a super fun time. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. So we've got like a two and a half hour drive to get down here. And it's saying we should arrive just after four. Hopefully the traffic isn't too bad, but we've got plenty of road trip snacks. We've got some Haribo. Lucasade, so we're sorted, aren't we? Happy travels! <laughs> Digestives, which is not very good, but they are an elite car snack alongside Harry Botang fasting because they're always necessary for a journey. Car, train, plane, it's Harry Bow time. I want to know what are your favourite must have road trip snacks? We're basically here now. We've had a really good run, haven't we? Like the roads have been like fairly friendly, fairly friendly yeah. <laughs> no standstills or anything like that. It's been about well, it'll be three hours total when we get there, but we had a stop off at Fleet Services to get some bits and bobs and bathroom break and what have you. Just come through a really nice little village. What was it? Hurley. Hurley. And they've had like so much bunting and everything up ready for the Jubilee. It was really lovely, wasn't it? I wonder if Romsey's town centre will have that, do you reckon? Yeah, oh, that'll be nice. I look forward to that. But we're nearly here. The weather's held out quite nicely, so nearly barbecue time, I think, isn't it? I've got my shorts and t-shirt on, it better hold out. <laughs> I'm on holiday. <laughs> You're holiday in England though. So? <laughs> so we're here now at Rob's family's house, which is all lovely. And I'm just getting some of Pacey's bits and bobs out of our bag. <laughs> we didn't pack very lightly, but when do I ever? <laughs> I did pack a large holiday suitcase for the sake of five days, but that's absolutely fine. This is my outfit of the day, by the way. I've got on some like tie-dye, pastel cycling shorts and a Kingdom Threads Magic Kingdom tee, which is very nice indeed. It's one of my faves actually. I love this one. Hey guys, so it's way later now. It's probably like 11 o'clock, isn't it, babe? It's, it's really quite late, but we had a lovely evening. We had like barbecue food, we watched a film, just chilled out really with our family, which has been really, really nice. Pacey Sando, we're just getting ready for bed. And tomorrow we're going into Romsey Town Centre just to do a little bit of shopping, see what we can see. We think it's going to be all done up lovely for the Jubilee. And we've got reservations at a cat cafe as well. And I've never been to one before, but you know how I feel about animals. It's usually dogs for us, but I'll take cats too. So really looking forward to that. And yeah, it's going to be a very, very fun day. So I'll take you along. Good morning everybody, it's Monday and it's very nice not to be at work or school isn't it babe? Yeah! Because it's half term so we're off all week, you okay? Getting comfy? <laughs> we're just getting round and ready and then we're going to head into Romsey. Yeah and if you look at this hedgehog, even though you might think it's real snow, it's not. It's not a real hedgehog is it? <laughs> you know what I mean? These bits, you might think it's real snow and it also looks like... But no, it's glitter. This is my outfit of the day, like a spotty 
Dalmatian dress and I've got my new denim jacket as well which I'll show you later I'm not 100% sure on it um, but yeah I've got this and Converse to wear because the weather's very grey and very oh actually there are some there's some blue sky coming Robert we're getting there but it's been raining all morning so that needs to get a life really so we can head out and about and this little lady just having five minutes and then we're going to make a plan, aren't we, darling? So, we're going to go and see the cats. We're just in Mummy's room right now. And now we're in the hallway. After the cats, I'm going to show you my room and how they do go down the steps. Mm. Matley and Chips. The Chip, Mr. Chips is the one that is darker. And Matley is the one that's, that's moving and is white. I'm going to go and show you the stairs and my room there yeah, upside down so if you haven't seen my room i am going to sh show you it and you see there's a kind of like a really nice view from here do you see do you like it so and that's my hanging back now you see that's a closet but there's basically things in there that isn't mine. So I'm also going to show you something. That's my book and my monitor. And that's my lamp. It, it's not on right now. And there are my decorations. We down Mommy. to the park while it's not raining for a minute or two. We'll be doing like obstacle courses. And I'm so puffed out, I can't keep up with Paisley. Rob went against her, you were puffed out as well, weren't yeah. you? <laughs> and she wants to go round again. It's a really nice little park that we've found. So let's Hello. see this expert. Ready, ready? Hold on, you got it. Hold on. Woohoo! So thankfully the sunshine's come out and we've popped into town to do a little bit of shopping and go to Paul's Forethought, which is the cat cafe. And I've always dreamed of going to the cat cafe. So this is going to be really good. We walk past it and I think you're allowed to touch them from what I could see through the window. So super excited for this. Pacey's excited as well. I'm gonna go see some kitty cats. Booklet of all the kitties, and we've figured out that this one is Lena. And you are just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we've got these gorgeous guys as well. Look at his little bed. In the white tunnel. Is there somebody in the tunnel? Oh, hello. This place is literally so cool. Look at this. Is there someone outside? Oh, look! Oh, that one's gorgeous! So are you up there? What are you up to? Hey, beautiful! They're all so just like chilled and relaxed. What an absolutely cool play. This is so cool. So how many were there in total, sweet? Six. And we found them all now, have we? You the, want to see the little outside area. This is so nice. Hello, beautiful! Hi, gorgeous. Are you okay? We should go next door, please. Hey, oh, sweetie pie. Hi.
sun shines out today. It's a much, much nicer day. There's blue skies out there, which is so good because we're going on an adventure. So I'm not overly sure where I left you guys yesterday. I know I was vlogging a little bit in the cat cafe, which was amazing, by the way, to even have cat like one talk to us one was cat. so good what did you say one, one cat has one eye and one cat only has three legs yes they were all rescue cats which was quite cool um yeah cats usually run away from paisley and i i don't I have no idea why <laughs> but they really liked us and they were sat next to us weren't they darling yeah. while we were eating the food's really nice as well so i'll, I'll link the calf down below for anyone who's in the area and might be interested but would definitely recommend it absolutely loved it i was thinking to myself like why don't we have dog cafes <laughs> <laughs> not beagles because they would just clearly steal all the food but how amazing would that be literally i know i'd love that so future business venture for me there <laughs> charlotte's dog cafe <laughs> yesterday afternoon it was a bit rainy and miserable outside so we actually just had a fun chilled out family afternoon played a few games played some top trumps some operation paisley had some arts and crafts kits so we just chilled out. We watched a film about like a little fireman dog on Sky, which was quite good. Chilled out, really. Had a nice dinner and went to bed, ready for today's adventure. Because we are off to Monkey World. I'm so excited to go to Monkey World. Rob has been there before. Has he? He said he has. Has he? Oh, I didn't know that. We'll ask him in a minute. And um, we're going to adopt a monkey hopefully literally only 27 pounds was it 27 is it yeah you told Bob. it's something like that it's like 25 to 35 in that region you can pick a monkey and adopt him which doesn't mean bringing him home though does it babe no <laughs> but, you, but you you might have to buy the monkey food i was gonna say because we didn't know if he would have to be home Mum's gonna have it in her I don't want a monkey in my room, especially not an orangutan. Look, I can click now. That is gorgeous clicking. And your outfit is lovely. This is one of Pacey's new outfits for summer that's just from um, Sainsbury's, which is rather gorgeous, isn't it, darling? Yes, it is. So we've just got to Monkey World. It's down in Dorset and it should be a fun day out. It's not a zoo, it's like a primate rescue centre. So they're all like monkeys and primates that needed a bit of help. So it should be a cute day. And it was only like £16.50 per adult as well. So quite reasonable. And I'm excited, are you baby girl? Yeah, how much was it? So we've found our first little monkey who's a red-bellied gooey-non. They're called Benny and Nina, aren't they, darling? Oh, here he comes. There he goes. <laughs> there they go. We've come to have a look at the inside part of the chimpanzee enclosure. And because it's raining, they're all in here, aren't they, baby? They're so cool. One's up there in his little blanket wrapped up like E.T. Look at all these guys. Oh, look at him. Can you see him on his swing, Paisley? Yeah, I just heard it pouring. It is pouring outside. That's why they're all in here. What a cutie. Look at their outside habitat. And they're all wrapped up. There's one in the tunnel down there and one just sitting over there wrapped in his blanket. It's a lovely big area they've got. Lots to do, haven't they, Paisley? They're all in yeah. places that have rules on them. Yes, Can't they're all properly. sheltering. So we've had a little bit of rain. <laughs> it's now starting to brighten up. The sky's actually quite blue, so it should be lovely. But Paisley's enjoying having the large umbrella to herself. And hopefully some of the monkeys are going to come out now. Hello. Oh, hello, mate. His little hands. Off he goes. So I must say guys, it's really nice here and all the enclosures are like really natural, like they're hanging from the trees, aren't they sweetheart? Yeah. And just like 
having loads of fun. They look really happy and it's so nice. We think we found the one Paisley would like to adopt, haven't we? Guess what its name is? Put it down in the comments. I'll give you a little time. It is Pikachu! So yeah, it is £27 to adopt uh, one of the monkeys or primates. And if it's a big one, it's 37 Is it? I'll yeah. show you the sign when we go to the adoption centre anyway, but all the money goes towards the um, rescue centre and helping the monkeys and you get like a certificate and some memorabilia. So I thought that'd be a quite nice little way to remember and our day here. On the store. I don't know if you do. There were some tiles on the floor with like names on like there is at the Disney parks from people who, who bought them. So I don't know what the deal is, but we'll ask. Hello, we? little guy. They're walking around in their great big enclosure. They look tiny. They look like little cats walking around, don't they, sweetheart? Yeah. Can you see that one playing in the long grass, Paisley? Yeah. Hi! We get to go on a few runs of She's most excited about the park. <laughs> there's, a, the there's a big orangutan over there, but Madam wants to go on the park, don't you? Yeah. Fox. <laughs> oh, you know your name. Hi, Fox. Fox. Hello, cheeky monkey. Hey, These lovely so fluffy cute. hands. I, I think this chimpanzee going off to sleep is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. We are all done at Monkey World, which was really good and we only got rained on like once or twice. We had umbrellas and got under shelter and everything like that. So it was all fine and well. That's all good. I'm glad we went. I've always wanted to go to Monkey World and they did have some really lovely monkeys there as well. Pacey's favourite was definitely one called Pikachu. I like the orangutan. So we've just driven down to Swanage and we're going on a ferry boat to Christchurch. I think. No, to, I, I think it goes to Sandbanks. Why are we going to Sandbanks? And then going up to Christchurch. Oh, okay. So the car comes on as well. <laughs> I don't really understand. But we're on the ferry boat in the car going across the water to do something which should be nice. <laughs> Christchurch. We've just parked up. We're having a little look at the boats and things and I think we're going to try and eat quickly because we didn't actually eat all that much at Monkey World. Just a snack. What's going on? Paisley's on one so we need to get her fed watered and everything. Have a little rest, recharge, refuel and then we're going to look at these boats. They do look very very cool. So this is where we're eating. It's called the Boathouse. Not the Disney Springs boathouse, but the Christchurch version. <laughs> Looks quite nice. dinner which was really really lovely and we've come down to the boats and unfortunately they're closed right now because like the ramp thingy is down which is such a shame because we really want to get a boat and go down the river but it doesn't matter we're gonna have like a little look around at these boats and the ramp down maybe it's called a barge I don't know what it's called but the boats are closed um, and it says open Easter till October but they are closed today maybe it's because there's loads of Jubilee things happening here I don't know, but we're just having a look at all the geese and swans and seagulls and pigeons and whatever else birds are here right now because they're all very nice and they're actually quite friendly as well, aren't they, Paisley? Especially this guy. Hello, you large angel. I like your prehistoric flippers. Hi, angel. Hi. I'm Uncle C. Look at them all. They're very, very nice. The boats are also very lovely and it's just a really nice 
little area here down by the front. Paisley's chosen some nice feathers, haven't you, sweet pea? Some beautiful white ones. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's now Wednesday morning and I think I left you yesterday when we were just leaving Christchurch and on our way home. We did come home via the New Forest which was really nice actually because we saw horses and donkeys and cows, that was about it really wasn't it, yeah. <laughs> in terms of wildlife on the way home but wildlife has been a bit of a theme of our trip this time with monkey world and the horses and the cat cafe and the cats at home but it's all good we love our animals so that's right up our street perfect we're currently on our way home now so we just stayed down south for a couple of days but we did squeeze in a lot of fun last year when we came down in the summer we actually went to Paltons Park didn't we because that's very very close and just near Romsey and we that's went not bad. We'll go next time, there's nothing new. We're waiting, there's another um, coaster gonna open up in the Tornado Springs area, but it's not open yet, so there's nothing new. So we're gonna save that to return next time. And we went to Marwell Zoo last time as well, didn't we? That was lovely. Yeah, that was really nice. And this time, Monkey World, the Cat Cafe, and Christchurch, there's loads to do down there. We'll have to think about what we might want to experience next time. Maybe a beach day. Yeah, maybe sometime at the seaside which is always good so yeah as i say we're on our they're way home lucky they live in that town. they're so lucky they live there it's a really lovely part of the world like, i'd never even been that far south until we started visiting rob's family down there so really really lovely it's always a pleasure going down and staying with those guys as well hope you've enjoyed this video of our little uk staycation we were obviously with family a lot so i don't know what i've filmed and, and what i've been able to show but hopefully there's some good clips and you guys have enjoyed it be sure to leave us a comment down below if so and i'll see you real soon bye guys